my name is Justin. My name's Chris. And today we're gonna go over uh, short game shots when you're not taking a full swing with a sand wedge or some sort of wedge that you have. If you are making a full swing, that's obviously the easy part, trying to hit a shot at full strength. You know you're gonna do that, but what happens when you're trying to hit a 60%, 70%, 80% shot? Maybe uh, you hit your sand wedge, let's say 100 yards, and I'm trying to hit something 60 or 70 yards, maybe over a bunker or mm -hmm. over a hill. Right? There's a lot of different things other than a flat range that gets easy out right. there, right? So what do we do when we want to hit it 60 yards? What's the first thing we wanna focus on? So say if you hit that sand wedge 100 yards, on a full swing mm -hmm. that black pin right there is actually 55 yards away okay so if i was going to try to what are, actually let's talk about the the top maybe one or two things you cannot do when you're trying to get it uh 55 yards first thing you cannot do cannot do for me it's take it way too far back like i'm hitting it 100 yards yeah because that only it the it, deceleration that's the decel yep so deceleration being, I'm going to try to take a full, um, my, my backswing's a full swing, and then I'm going to try to kind of slow down yep. and hit it softer, which will never work. There's no tempo in that, mm -hmm. right? So, what's, so that's one thing we don't want to do is, is mess up our tempo. Right. So what's one thing we do want to do for sure? One thing we do want to do is get kind of a feel of where I want to stop this backswing, Let's do a couple practice. 60 would look something like this for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's hit one. Full one? 60. Okay. Okay. Now a key thing there is very much like a putting tempo, right? We mm -hmm. don't want to go to that point nice and smooth and then super accelerate right. through the ball thinking that you have to add extra strength to get it there because you didn't take the full backswing. Mm -hmm. That's understandable. It's what's in a lot of people's mind is that nervousness that I'm not going to get it there. Yeah. Um, there's power in these clubs. <laughs> they they, they yes. do what they're supposed to do when you when you swing them with controlled tempo, as long as you hit the ball first. So that 60% swing, if you think of it in percentages, that's great. I like to think of the golf swing as kind of a math equation. What mm -hmm. happens on one side should happen on the other. Right. And the more variables, the harder it is, mm -hmm. or the harder the equation. Um, but another thing that I like to think of the golf swing, if you don't think of it as per <laughs> If you don't think of it as percentages, you think of it like a clock, like Bryson mm -hmm. DeChambeau typically talks about that, that clock mentality where this would be like nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, right? Yeah. Or full swing. So if you're thinking of it like a clock, you could stand right there, you're fine. And I'm trying to hit it, uh, my normal sand wedge maybe is 100, let's, let's call it 100 for sake. 100, I'm gonna think probably about here is a full swing for me, so I'm gonna drop it down about half of that. So something nice and easy. Boom. Okay, another main point for me is definitely the chest. So having right. the chest be the focal point of the swing. It's definitely not my arms and it's definitely, definitely not my legs. For power, I wanna use my legs. I wanna use that wrist cock and everything, everything I have to hit what power I have. Exactly. For finesse or something where I don't use full power, I need to use uh, the finesse tools that I have, which are just getting the shoulders through the ball. Mm -hmm. right? Totally getting them to the target, but also thinking that it's almost like this type of swing. There, yep. Right? So I'm not so much using my legs, but I need to make sure that everything is just a smooth one, two tempo, especially if we're going 55. Simple. Talk about... Um, Feet positioning and how I'm not, you know, you notice that I didn't have a full golf stance. Right. Let's talk about getting the feet together and creating your ability to hit it a little less than full. So my feet are about shorter length away, mm -hmm. shorter width away, 100 yard. And obviously 80 yards will go a little bit closer, 60 yards, a little bit closer. It's an athletic yards. base. Yeah. Yeah. So if Basically. I have, a, if I have a, a strong athletic base where I'm, I'm shoulder width apart, you know, think of like a lineman, right? Mm -hmm. You're not going to move me. But if I'm like this, then yeah. it's all, it's going to be all upper body trying to hold it up from there. Yeah. So same, same in a golf swing. When you close that gap in your feet, you're thinking more upper body work here. Mm -hmm. From here, what are you focused on? After you got your stance down, you know, you're going to be taking a little bit off here. What I'm looking for. 55 yards. 55 yards. Keep the same tempo. Yep, of course. And just accelerate through the ball without mm -hmm. using kind of your legs and really rotate your chest. Yes, that is the key. Rotating the chest through that shot. Yep. Not accelerating with your arms, 
not accelerating with your wrist. The more you do that, the more chance you have of hitting the ground or the ball first mm -hmm. um, and not in a good way. Right. So let's see a nice 60 yard smooth tempo shot. Really rotate that chest. There it is. There it is. Notice as well, even if he has thinner margin between his feet here, his balance is still, it's still there. So that's a key fitness point. The better balance you have, the more smooth and stable your golf swing is most likely going mm -hmm. to look. Work on your balance, work on your glute strength. It should look smooth, it should feel smooth, mm -hmm. it shouldn't feel rushed, and it shouldn't feel like you decelerated, and it shouldn't feel like your body wants to come out of it. Um, whatever you're able to do to, to increase your balance because it's just gonna make your golf swing more fluid. So this will be kind of a, a bad example of what not to do. <laughs> or something you might be familiar with. Right. So I think the first thing that I would look for uh, in somebody who can't hit a, an abbreviated shot would be their feet length for sure. Yes. If, I'm, if I'm at full swing and I'm just trying to, like something like that, mm -hmm. very accelerated toward it, you might see something like that. Yeah. Um, and that would be the accelerated way. I think the decelerated way is more popular mm -hmm. uh, where you'd be taking like a full swing and then yeah. first thing I would advise is to bring those feet in for sure. Mm -hmm. That's number one, right? My balance is directly over uh, the center of gravity I'm trying to create. Right. And that's a key word there is for sure, center of gravity, center of gravity. And put this ball right in the middle of my feet. My center of gravity is where this club is naturally going to hit the ground. And if my head is there and my buttons and my belt buckle are right over the ball, that's where my center of gravity is. So mm -hmm. if I create more of a variable where it can shift, that's where it's likely gonna ground out and it just creates more variables. Mm -hmm. So closing the gap between my feet. Say I have a nice close foot stance, which would be good, but I still decelerate. Not bad toward the target, but I totally hit ground first. Yes. There. Like for sure. And then maybe an accelerated one, which might be a little more popular in this, because you might think that you're not going to get it there. Mm -hmm. There, straight That's blade, blade, right? So now we're focused on tempo. So a good example of tempo, and you can practice this with normal feet. Mm -hmm. You would just want to think tick tock like a clock is what I used to say to the kids. Something with tempo. This is tempo. Same speed back as through, right? right? So let me bring the feet together. Think about that tempo. More on the number. So I hope you're able to learn something about how to hit a little bit more of an abbreviated shot, especially with wedges. This applies to all wedges in the bag, lob wedge, sand wedge, pitching wedge, anything where you need to take a little bit off, it all comes down to tempo. Yeah. Where your feet are positioned, your balance, your shoulder turn and finesse. Think about your shoulders when you're hitting these shots. Um, I know we had gone over previously about being over the top or early extending. It's a little bit different of a ball game because of the fact that you're not using your legs right. so much, right? When your legs are involved, that's when the whole body gets involved for power and kind of throws things off. For these types of shots, it's about slowing everything down and just having a smooth tempo using mostly shoulders and upper body. Mm -hmm.